Peggy 12. Hey, I'm Matt, producer on The Cave. We just finished the game up recently. Hopefully you've had a chance to play. I decided to head on over to Double Fine and have a talk with the guys that worked on the game. I had a chance to sit down with Jane, lead artist. We talked concept art, cats, and sandwiches. Hi, Jane. How's Hi. it going? Hi, good. So for our friends, fans, maybe family at home, can you tell us what you do here at Double Fine and what sure. your role in the cave is? Um, I'm an environment artist and I, my role on the cave is the lead artist, so I figure out a lot of how things are done um, in the art sense. Um, I started on Brutal Legend and then I did a lot of work on stacking and I've been on the cave since day one pretty much. All right, and the cave has a pretty unique style and it's obviously very different from stacking or Brutal Legend right. or almost anything out there. So. What were your inspirations? How did you come to that art style? Um, I think Ron had a pretty clear idea of what he wants the world to sort of feel like. Like from the very beginning, we know it's gonna be kind of like a like a big slice through the world, which is very unique. And um, most of our art decisions sort of came from, well, how do we showcase that sort of almost like a little ant farm feel? We know we didn't want to go too close to like the vector art, like, you know, the flash game look where everything was sort of very solid colors, because um, there's been a lot of games out there like that already and wanted to do something a little more unique. And Double Fine is a studio, or at least like when we started the cave, we primarily did a lot of 3D games. So we really want to bring that expertise to the sort of like 2.5D look too. So we didn't want to go full 2D, so we brought more of that 3D feel into that little end farm world. So was it challenging working on an adventure game or was it almost ex more exciting because they can almost every single screen can be taken almost as its own screenshot so did you were you excited to work on something like this because yeah. it was such a big visual set piece yeah I think it's it was very fun from the beginning because we knew the cave was gonna have so many different looks inside one game so I mean as an artist it's very it's very refreshing to be like, oh man, I could do all this stuff in all in one game, you know? And while, you know, and everything still gets to be tied together with the whole, you know, cave theme. So it's challenging, but it's also like a, a fun thing to do. So when you're working on something like that with so many different styles and so many different environments, do you just, how much concept art comes out of something like that? Oh, we have a lot of concept art. Um, we're very lucky that um, we, from the beginning, had a full-time concept artist. Actually, we had more than one. I would say one and a half. So, so Derek <laughs> Brand is our main concept artist, and he, he's just amazing. He would just, you know, read through how this particular part of the cave would need to be, and he would just crank out these really loose but um, big sort of paintings on, oh, this is sort of how I envisioned the island to be, or the adventurer and it was just a, a pretty big painting and we all can look at it and just be like, oh, immediately you can sort of feel, oh, this is the kind of island we're looking at or the kind of, you know, monk's area we're looking at. And um, it's nice to just get a big feel all at once. And then once we like the general feel, then we sort of get him to paint more individual areas to flesh out the details. But yeah, it's, we have a lot of <laughs> So how did that process work early on where you'd say you'd get these rough sketches and you'd put them up and you know say we we worked on this now was that did you have much autonomy and direction was that mostly coming from Ron like what was that process like really oh, you early? Mean like, uh, uh, we, I think we have a lot of autonomy like for example um, after I knew that I was going to make most of the adventure bubble and it's going to be a sort of like an Egyptian theme sort of pyramid thing and I was just like Hey Ron, can I just put a lot of cats in there? <laughs> you know, like we get a lot of autonomy in doing just like weird little quirky things and so now we have a pyramid in a cave with lots of cats in it. <laughs> just because I kind of want to. There's it. nothing wrong with that. Yeah. It'll be huge on Reddit. <laughs> yeah. So was there anything though that maybe you wanted that you really were pushing for in one of those design, when you were thinking about that design that just, no, that's not right. And, Maybe you still keep the concept art in your desk or something, but didn't make it in. Huh. No. I mean, like, I feel like there are certain things that we wanted to put in that we wasn't sure, but then since there's so many different areas in the cave, we always manage to find a place to sort of put it in. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> it's like, oh, it doesn't fit on the island. Well, we'll put it in the gold mine, you know? <laughs> 
final question, probably the most important one. Actually, it is the most important question that everybody, you've probably been asked this a thousand times. If the cave were a sandwich, what kind of sandwich would it be? If a cave were a sandwich, what kind of sandwich would it be? Is there some sort of sandwich that's like the kitchen sink sandwich? <laughs> there is now. <laughs> yeah, it's a sandwich that has everything in it. Everything you want in it. <laughs> okay. Just a little bit of everything. Yeah.